Hi guys, Ben Cooper, Stroke No Limits. Welcome to my Patreon page. You would have seen all the um, the intros and a few of the hopefully a few of the blogs and a couple of the videos that I have already posted. Now I am trying to help people grow and help people develop, and that's also up to me as well for me to grow and develop and to get outside my comfort zone. And I'm going to start with today talking about mindset. Now I've going to attach some other videos from previous episodes that I've done in the past from about two years ago and I've got a whole series of those which I basically did for the well oh, maybe 70 65 episodes of every Friday I did a piece on some sort of um, coaching advice or uh, training philosophy or training method on either physical or nutritional so check out those, I'll start uploading those eventually as well and I'll attach a link to one of these about mindset. But I was asked during the week, what action or what do I do in my training that helps me develop and that has um, assisted in my development and assisted me to achieve my goals and move closer to achieve my goals and enabling me to do what I do. Um, and I said strength training to begin with. Um, I do believe strength training is very valuable. It um, prevents injury. It also develops different stimulus in your muscles from doing anaerobic activity or cardio-based activity. Strengthen up your muscles in, in a different stimulus. Um, creates a better engine for the muscles to, to develop and to also fire as well. Um, gives you a better balance because if you develop um, bad habits in form and technique you can under utilize muscle function and overuse and get injuries from overuse injuries etc but thinking about this this morning on my run it's mind it's all in the mind um, I do a lot of long distance races endurance events which um, my latest was the UTA 100 now you need to train that you can't just go out and run 100k because you'll, you'll break but a lot of the time it's up here that gets broken first so I think for me I can grind and I can grind things out and the reason why I do strength training and do other things as well is that mindset and it goes back to my three D's my desire determination and discipline and that's a that's an attitude you need to have and develop you can't you can't teach or coach a mindset or attitude you as an athlete or you individually need to invest in that and to have that some people aren't willing to hurt some people are and that's why professional athletes are professional athletes because they can generally dig that little bit deeper know how to hurt know how to push their body on that that borderline of blow or success win or lose and there are a lot of people that just don't know how to how to hurt how to how to or want to hurt which is fine each of their own um, everyone hurts in different ways and is willing to achieve different things and and that goes down to a, a belief system and a mindset and you can't coach mental attributes that that dig deep inside you can you can help develop them and bring them out but as an athlete they need to invest in that and they need to come up with that themselves and have that belief and attitude and that comes with a coach to direct them and guide them to see the path it's that he he see do you hear about something then you start to see it then you do it yourself because that comes in it's a it's a better belief you you don't generally believe things until you see them and then you actually do them and you actually believe in yourself in that way. And that will take a coach to develop that as well. But it comes down to investment. If you invest in a coach or invest in a goal, invest in doing something, there has to be a why linked in with something for that goal and that desire to be strong enough to follow through with it. You invest in something, so you need to fully commit to that and not do it people come to the gym and they go to a class and they they do a class and they feel good and they continue doing that for 
a month, two months, then they get impatient because they're not seeing results. But are you investing in it fully? Are you just showing up? Are you just turning up because someone's taking a class because you don't have to think about it, you don't have to worry about anything else. You just go out, train for 45 minutes, go home, eat whatever you want, then you sit at your desk all day at work and then you come home and then, but you know in two days time, you go on to another class. But then you expect a result at the end of the day. It doesn't quite work like that. Some people might just do that just for fun, but if you're investing in something and you want to achieve something, you need to commit, you need to take ownership and you need to follow through. So um, if to achieve something, it's the mind in, in committing to something and to wanting something bad enough to make those sacrifices and make those changes. And they can be little, they can be small, they don't have to be major. You can start off with just making a plan of, okay, I'm gonna exercise five, um, five hours a week and that could be it. And that's, as long as you're committing to that, that's one level of commitment, then you might want to step it up. But deep down, people invest in a coach or invest into training and invest into doing things, but they really need to step back and have a look and look at the big picture and go, okay, what do I really need to do? I'll use running for an example, when you go out for a run. There are gonna be runs where you just go out and run and enjoy yourself and that might be the start when you're starting off uh, for, a, for, for a beginner. You might just want to start, okay, I'm just going to go out for a run for 20 minutes, half hour, I might just show up to park run every, every week, but then you want to, you see some results and then you want to invest in something, you want to do something, you sign up to a race. Now those, if you really want a result, then you have to invest in planning that. You can't just go out and just go for a run. You need to have a focus. You need to have some sort of structure, some sort of guideline, some sort of measure of improvement. And when you are running and you, you, you invest into a program or you invest into something, you don't just, okay, well, yeah, I need to run those days and that's what the set is and you just go through and do it. But you gotta step out and go, am I really doing it? Am I really pushing at those zones at those levels at those tempos or am i just going out there and ticking a box am i just running the 800 and, and resting but am i looking at the big picture and digging deep into what the purpose of that is so you need to invest in the purpose of why you're doing it as well and, and really understand the methodology and the process of it so really deep down you need to look at your why you're doing it you need to look at when you're looking at your training are you just running or are you training purpose you need to train with purpose we're limited in the time so the time that we spend needs to have that focus so when you're doing a run why you're gonna get more from that run if you have a why to why and a, and, a, and a guideline and a measure. Okay, you're running at 5K for this space, this speed to achieve this result. So you need to train the body to run at a certain pace. You need to run certain runs to be able to learn how to pace yourself, to build your aerobic threshold, to build your aerobic endurance, to build your vo2 to build your tempo whatever um or threshold you need to run look at when you're running what you're doing in that session so you, to get more out of it because if you're just going out and turning up and running and oh it says oh it says run at tempo but i'm just going to run stop pull yourself back and go okay why am i why did i invest in this program why am i doing this i've set a goal will I achieve my goal by just going out there and running and just doing that. And then looking at other things as far as form and technique, bring it back, look at your breathing, look at your running st stride. Are you getting little niggling injuries because you're running at the same pace all the time? Are you leaning back? Are you used, gripping your back and not focusing on your core? Is your stride a little bit too too big are you are you looking at your addressing your cadence are you using your arms 
are you getting hip issues etc that sort of stuff so you've got to look at the big picture and why you're doing things and train with purpose that's another aspect that you can look at that you need to address and and when you're looking at the big picture of things when you're running up a hill okay how am i breaking this down how am i going to get up this hill am i looking all right mindset going to finish it off so mindset you need to develop it you need to challenge it you can't get given it you'll see and you hear stories of people overcoming all these things like it could be from having one dollar in their bank account to having a million dollars in their bank account could be from coming back from a horrific car accident could be the list goes on grit comes down to how bad you want it how present in the moment can you be to achieve those milestones and it, again it can't be given to you it has to be developed you have to practice it you have to be willing to feel the pain and the pain could be financially could be physically could and it's mentally and it's not going to come like that you need to practice it you need to train it but you also need to be present and aware so be aware of what your downfalls are be aware of the moments that you find it hardest to overcome set yourself up for success don't continue to put you in that same situation where you keep continually making that same decision to lead you down the wrong path it's not right it's not wrong it's just practice and it's training you need to train physically mentally but as i was saying it's all in the mind you keep catching yourself thinking negative thoughts i can't do this i it's too hard, oh, I've got this, I've got that. If you're continually putting negative words and talking negative, it's very, very hard to turn into positive. So you, again, that's being aware of the words you're using and and how you betray in your life, in your day-to-day -day schedule. If you're dreading and thinking of these, this big thing, then when it comes down to doing it, you're gonna find something else to do. It's like, that's why getting up first thing in the morning and exercising first thing so it's done, then you know you're gonna have a busy day so you, things can happen during the day but at least it's done you've had your time and you've ticked your box but it's being aware so setting yourself up for that having your gear ready having your gear in the car making appointments around the jobs that you need to do you might it might come down to missing time with the family or doing things because you've got a boss calling you saying you need to do this need to do this and you just if it keeps going over you've got to look at ways to and actions that you can do to prevent getting in that same situation sometimes it's just the way it is but again that's being aware of your mind and accepting that it, it takes grit it takes determination it takes a lot of hard work you can't get given that that mindset you need to develop it and you need to practice it and it's you've got to prepare to, to hurt in those different ways and to go through the tough times because it won't come easy and that sense of accomplishment can only will only become higher when you know you've actually worked for it and you wanted it bad enough to achieve it. So integrity, show integrity, show up, be present, be aware. Don't, if you say you're gonna do something, follow through with it and just keep practicing it because it takes years to develop a mindset. You can't just do it for, do it for a couple of weeks and then think, oh, well, yeah it's done you need to keep training it you need to keep practicing it. you need to keep challenging it we as human beings love a challenge that's why we we do ultra marathons that's why we we get home loans we do all these things because we like a challenge to get fulfillment afterwards so keep challenging it and be there be there in the moment be present and focus on what you need to be doing don't just tick box and go through well yeah i did it but did you really do it you've got to be present that's like spending time with people being present with people staying off the phone and actually talking to them being aware of what they're trying to tell you and what they're saying don't try and keep thinking of the next thing to say or thinking about what you're going to tell them listen we have two ears one mouth and it gets me in trouble all the time i know but try and use your ears more I, I'm, I'm doing my best to as well but um just practice, practice mindset, train it. Be your best version, that's all you can be. Think positive, be positive, and positive actions will follow. Hope that helps, guys.